next weekend, which is also going to be next month as August is knocking on our doors. I'll be hosting a virtual walk for the Aneurysm and AVM Foundation, also known as TAF. This annual event celebrated from coast to coast, and this year they're going virtual. And we've got a special message from Zach Braff, who you may know as JD from the hit TV series Scrubs. Check it out. Hey everybody, it's Zach Braff here, and I want to encourage you to register for the TAF Walk this year. Uh, it's the 15th anniversary, and you might be thinking to yourself, how do we do the TAF Walk uh, during quarantine? Well, guess what? It's an online event, and you may be thinking, how do you walk online? Well, you're going to find out when you go to tafonline.org. That's T-A-A-F online.org. Go register now. We need you. Look at that celebrity endorsement. You've got to love that. Okay, joining me now with more insight on how to get involved and support TAF is Community Engagement Manager, Dina Chan. Welcome to the show. Hi, how are you guys doing? <laughs> we're great, we're great. And that was great to see him supporting you guys. Can you explain a little bit more to our audience what the Aneurysm and AVM, AVM Foundation is? Sure. So we're obviously a nonprofit, but uh, we're here in San Francisco and our mission really is to be of service to aneurysm and AVM survivors to provide, um, golly, to support them medically, but also really emotionally. There's a lot of things that you need when these things happen. And we want to make sure that we're there from start to finish and even afterwards. We've had people who have been um, part of our organization for uh, over 15 years. Talk about the conditions that you serve. Yeah, so um, an aneurysm is not rare. A lot of people actually um, have unruptured aneurysms. It's estimated that one in 50 of us actually have one. Um, an aneurysm is a weakening in an artery, so it's like a bulge. Um, the AVM actually is rare. So uh, it's a rare disease, but um, it happens to be associated with that same type of thing that an aneurysm is rather than being a bulge though it's a tangle kind of um a spaghetti of vascular tissue so you guys are doing a fundraiser to support um, some of the services that you provide talk about the fundraising and where those dollars go yeah i appreciate that so we have a host of uh programs that i absolutely love that are really dear to my heart and i'll talk about them in, in a little bit um but probably Definitely. The majority of our fundraising goes to research. We are trying to find um, usually young, uh, you know, neuro crew, whether they're neurosurgeons or endovascular surgeons or all of these things um, to support. And we know that seed grants grow great futures. We are not able to support at like the NIH level, right? Those are just so many millions and millions of dollars. But we do know that when we support them at their um, seedling level that they will grow and these researchers will get more notice. Uh, and at the end of the day, that research really goes back into the lives and the care. We want to support that medical care. Well, Dina, um, I, I want to actually get into the walk um, because okay. I am going to be part of it this year. And that's one of the big fundraisers that you have is this annual walk. And like many things, you've gone virtual this year. So how's that going to work? Yeah, so the walk is in its 15th year. This is our 15th anniversary, and usually it's on the ground, obviously. Um, we have pivoted to make the walk the actual kickoff for some very big awareness things that we're going to be doing. September is Aneurysm Awareness Month, and October is AVM Awareness Month. And so the walk is going to try to be um, live, but it's also a hybrid. So. Obviously you and I will be there and we will be doing some interviews. We have some great guests. We also have kind of like Saturday Night Live is doing. Uh, we have a lot of really wonderful pre-recorded information. So if you've ever been to the walk, you've seen um, the researchers that I was talking about, they will be there and they will have um, their time with us. Also the band, uh, a very small version of it, but the <laughs> band will be there. Um, and just, we will actually go live into the homes of a few of our walkers. Uh, it's just going to be really great because um, a lot of us haven't even seen each other, obviously, and this will be a hybrid opportunity to not only support the amazing research and programs, but for us as a community to be together. And that's where this walk started. There are people who had never met another survivor like them 
until we have this event. Well, that's great. And I know that the board is mostly made up of volunteers like yours um, that work with you. And this is the 15th year that you're really celebrating. What is uh, your big hope for this year's walk? That's such a great question. My biggest hope for the this year is that we are continuing to be of service. Um, it would be amazing to support the research that we always do. But Honestly, our one-on-one -on -one chats, the way that we're able to help people on the ground in the moment, and we've done so many more now that we're all stuck at home, <laughs> um, but the, the walk supports that as well. That is one of the ways that we're able to be of service, and that's um, supported by those fundraising dollars. All right, Dina, I'm going to have to jump in right now. You can go to taftonline.org for more info.